Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? My name is Usman and today I'm bringing you guys a full tutorial on how to do the Schwalen Shuffle Easter Egg in Infinite Warfare Zombies. This is going to work whether you want to play solo or with two players, three players, or even with four players. It does not matter. This is going to be a full, full Easter Egg tutorial guide for Schwalen Shuffle and uh, all the Easter Egg steps are the same whether you want to play solo or co-op. And I'll be showing you guys all the spawn location steps and everything like that. Now, if you are someone that is looking to team up for this Easter Egg, go right ahead and drop your PSN gamer tags or Steam IDs in the comments below with a little summary like if you have a mic or not and what step is hard for you and reply to each other in the comments and go from there. Now before we get started I would really really appreciate it if you guys could take two seconds to drop a like on this video as there's a lot of time spent into recording the gameplay, editing and making sure everything is correct and do consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. We do daily videos and live streams and now let's get this started. Now the first First thing you want to do is turn on the power for the whole map. I have an uncut video showing you how to turn on the power and uh, I, I take you from the spawn and it's an uncut video and a non sped up version on how to turn on the power in this map. I will link that down in the description below if you need it but go right ahead and turn on the power. There are four switches in case if you need a reminder. Get yourself some points, juggernaut and be on round 5. And now the first easter egg step is to basically come up to the dojo on round 5 and uh, before round on five basically turn on the power and get everything that you need to and get like a weapon or two uh, as well and on round five come up to dojo and talk to her or talk to the sensei that's what it says and grab one of the fighting style and start completing challenges for it we need to use the shuriken on the rat cages and they are all around the map so get 15 kills and complete the first challenge which is really really easy and get yourself to the next rank and unlock the shuriken once you've done it talk to palm and the rat cages are going to spawn all around the map now now find yourself one rat cage, there are a couple of them, whichever one you find first, go from there, throw a shuriken on the cage and follow the rat, I know, Call of Duty Zombies and we're following the rat, god damn. You need to repeat that uh, five times, once you complete it there will be a yellow circle that will spawn on the map and now you basically need to stay in the yellow circle and get some kills. It works and just like the soul jar would work in Black Ops 3 Zombies, it works just like that, just get some kills when you're in the circle, maybe even use your fighting ability to go further into the rank and it will be much much easier and faster for you to do the step if you use your fighting ability. Once the yellow circle disappeared that means you have done it and now basically some of the ninja zombies will spawn and stay there maybe go a little bit uh, behind or around the yellow circle. Uh, of course it's gonna be disappeared. Go a little bit around and you will see the ninja zombies spawning in. Kill them all and now you will see a key drop. Simply pick it up and go to the subway where the train comes every now and then and that's the second subway. Uh, go there and you want to unlock this locker right here that will have some Chinese symbols on top uh, with, with the soul key that you have just obtained. It's the second subway outside the nightclub or the disco club and now once you have opened the locker there will be some Chinese symbols that you need to shoot in order. I will have a gameplay running in the background in order and when you shoot it you will hear a gong sound meaning you done it correctly. Now the first one is going to be outside the spawn to the right of the dojo up there. Simply shoot the left symbol uh, the first one there and it will make a sound and make your way back and go to the disco now and there will be a second one and it will be in the bathroom of the disco shoot the second symbol next one will be very close to it just outside the disco and it will be near the lion statue next to the dead eye do uh, drops perk which is a new perk and you need to shoot the first and the second symbol after that make your way to the dojo and just outside you will see a logo on the floor it's the red king logo it will only spawn in if you have done the last step correctly so definitely pick it up interact with it and you will see a rat king boss spawn in and this is going to be like a mini boss fight and the first time he actually is going to spawn in and make sure you uh, you have one last zombie alive and uh, if you need to make your way into the giant room where you can easily train if you need to and from what I've been hearing and uh, from my personal experience the starting pistol uh, when it's pack punch won't do you any good in order to kill the boss although just have it in order to clear your path uh, if you get stuck but have a second gun something really really good maybe the Mahler pack a punch or the reaver I heard that's really good it's a shotgun uh, I will have a pack punch and double pack punch tutorial in the description below if you guys need that so go right ahead and get yourself a nice gun pack a punch it and always shoot for his head and take that son of a gun down he will take a lot uh, of bullets and Mahler is definitely preferred along with bang bangs or uh, maybe even reaver like I said so once you kill him he will drop an eyeball go right ahead and pick that up and just make 
your way to the dojo and talk to Palm once again. And now we need to find some more symbols. I will have a gameplay running in the background showing you each and every one of the location. You need to find six orange ratting symbols around the map. There are six symbols you need to shoot and uh, there are 13 different locations. You need to press L1 to use the eye uh, that you have just obtained and you need to use that vision pulse in order to reveal a symbol near you. And there are 13 different locations so shoot the symbol when you see it. Only one symbol will spawn at a time and these can spawn in any order which can be a little frustrating knowing there are 13 different locations you need to go to in order to find just one. But I will be showing you each and every one in this gameplay uh, right now and they are all around the map and once you find a symbol it's going to be an orange one really hard to miss uh, shoot it and you need to go again and search all the 13 different locations to find your second one and then you need to repeat that four more times in total six times because there are six different symbols and it can be a little frustrating if you do not know all the locations well but once you go through all of them once or twice it will be a little easy and you can repeat the same pattern over and over and go from spawn because every single one of the symbol spawn location intertwines with each other and again I will have a gameplay running in the background me aiming exactly where the symbols can be and I find going from dojo to disco a dojo basically spawn to the rooftop is a best pattern to follow now once you pick all of the symbols up a phone will start ringing in the subway and it will play a morse code message now you want to pick up the phone that doesn't have a red light on it so pick that up it will play a morse code you can listen to it how many times you want to so definitely do listen to it multiple times and basically it will have a long beep sound and a very short and a quick beep sound So basically two different types of beeps, uh, like long ones are going to be dashes and short ones are going to be dots. It's gonna go something like that and every game it will change and it will be something like this, like ta, 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 ta. Ta, dash dash dot 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 dash now each game it will change but it will be only it will only play one out of six different morse code that is built in the game and the morse code is going to be one of these numbers that I got on the screen right now so basically every first number for these morse code is different except for the number four there is 420 and 407 so what uh, we're gonna do is listen to the phone and translate that using this morse code translator that I got on the screen for you guys right now it makes it so so easy so whatever your first sound is again it will be something like dash dash uh, dot 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 dash check what the first beeps are write them down in a form of dashes and dots and translate that using this and whatever your first number is it's going to tell you the full morse code you can double check everything if you get the number four uh, maybe it's gonna be 420 or 407 so double check that if your first number is four but once you get the first number correct you will be good to go if you have any problems definitely let me know in the comments below and I can surely help you guys out it's very very easy now it's gonna be one Morse code out of these codes and whatever number you got uh, you need to find a summer poster for it and that Morse code will be written beneath the poster and uh, I will show you all the poster locations there are six different locations as there are six different Morse codes all the poster will spawn on the exact location I will show you all the poster locations but the number on the poster will spawn in randomly every single game you're going to play now the first poster can spawn in the spawn room the next one is going to be outside the dojo the next one will be on the roof of heebie-jeebies basically follow me along and go from spawn uh, as all the posters spawn in in kind of like a circle or like a half circle around the map the next one is going to be near bomb stoppers aka PhD flopper right here the next one will be on the rooftop where quickies are aka speed cola and the last one is in the subway which is outside the disc nightclub and once you see your morse code uh, poster pick that up and if the poster disappears from the wall that means you've done it correctly but however if nothing happens and you already interacted with the poster that means uh, you have failed the step and you need to repeat the last step not even this step the last step where you need to find six orange symbols and there are 13 different locations for it and each symbol spawns in once at a time so you cannot fail this step it's really frustrating that you have to do that all over if you fail uh, maybe 
maybe in future Infinity War will patch this, but try not to fail. Now, once you have the poster, come up here on the rooftop where quickies are and place the poster on top of this spotlight. And now you need to explode that window where uh, it's actually shooting the X or the poster, spotlight, whatever, or however you describe that. Uh, just explode the window. It's preferred that you get the, the starting room pistol pack up So shoot it with the starting room pistol and now there will be ninja zombies that will spawn in. Make sure you leave one zombie alive and take all the ninja zombies down and we're on the next step which is going to be shooting some symbols and making a word. There are a couple of words you can make. Uh, for example, nunchuck, uh, rat king, katana and there will be weird looking symbols all around the rooftop. So make sure you go in circle, take your time to see what these symbols actually looks like and use this translator that I got on the screen for you guys right now. Now, I'm not sure who made this, but make sure to ignore the big gray letters in the background. Uh, how are you going to follow is that uh, you need to look at the bottom. There are letters, for example, the first one is A, and above it shows you a symbol. So, let's say if you shoot the symbol, if you shoot that specific symbol on the roof that you found, you are basically starting a word that will start with the letter A. So, definitely try and make uh, make Nuncha, Katana, or Rat King, preferably Rat King. So, go around, look for a symbol, and look at this picture, and look for R and the symbol above. Find that exact symbol in game, shoot it, and you will have it. If you fail, it's going to reset. So, complete the step and go to the heebie jeebies rooftop, and you will see a rat symbol. And this will start another mini boss fight. Simply kill him again, and this will give you his brain. Pick that up and go talk to Palm again. Every freaking time, you gotta talk to Pam. Goddamn. And that will start a new step for you. Now, when you talk to her, there will be a black hole film reel type of stuff that will come up on your screen. And basically, now you need to survive around three rounds. And once you do that, you will be teleported back and you will get this type of message saying missing film reel. And you will be teleported back outside the dojo. And now you need to kill a couple more zombies. Make sure you don't touch the fire as it will insta kill you. So make sure you are using your starting room, a pistol, pack a punch and have them out right before you get teleported. That's like the best thing you can do. Now, once you kill a couple of zombies, there will be a part that will spawn in that area. Go pick that up and you need to put that in the subway, the second one where the train goes every now and then and uh, fix this thing right here, which I do not know how you call it. Uh, I I'm not sure what you actually call this. The, the thing where you go through in order to go on the other side, you know what I'm saying? Like a metro here in Canada or Montreal, that's where I'm at though, or a train or subway in New York. Uh, but put that part in and come up to this area where the bomb stoppers are and uh, climb up and you need to shoot this symbol right here. You do not need to use the Rat King eye or the vision pulse. It will be there. Simply shoot it and that will spawn those yellow soul jars once again and there are like five of them and you need to collect souls by killing zombies inside them and once you complete one, go to the next one. You need to just go around the map and find every single one of them and collect souls and you will know when you finish this because you will hear a gong completing sound. So after that, make your way into the disco and now you will see a zombie dancing and he will have a giant ball on top of his head. <laughs> I, I heard sometimes it does not spawn, so uh, if it doesn't, what you have to do is go upstairs to the records and interact with it and uh, go down and it will be there. A zombie will uh, with the ball on his head will be there. And uh, the way this works is that you need to get at least one zombie on the disco floor and when you have at least one, shoot the zombie that has this giant ball on top of his head and the zombie will give his ball to the next one that is on the disco floor. And uh, you need to repeat this several different times till you hear the gong completing sound effect. It's pretty straightforward. You just have to have one zombie on the disco floor. Make sure you go in one direction anti-clockwise or clockwise. Just go in one direction and you will be good to go. And now we are on the last step before the actual boss fight. We're actually getting there. Simply make your way outside the disco club and you will see another symbol on the floor. Interact with it and the Rat King will spawn in for the third time. Kill him again and you will be picking up his heart this time around. Now we're on the boss fight step. Whenever you are ready to go to the boss fight, talk to Palm and go to the giant hall, the Rat King sewer area which is near Jug. Once you enter in that after talking to Palm, uh, this area will close down meaning that you have officially triggered the boss fight. Make sure you are fully fully set up. Make sure you got a S SMG or a LMG, something like that. You gotta put a lot of bullets into the boss as well. There are some symbols that you will have to shoot, so make sure you have 
a ton of bullets in your gun and of course like you'll be getting max ammo every now and then which is really really awesome if you are playing solo palm will revive you which is really really awesome in co-op she will sometime help revive so if you're playing solo it's kind of easier but not sure how many times she will help revive so try to not go down on purpose but definitely try and be fully prepared with guns perks and everything like that the boss fight will have three phases and there's a trap inside as well so use that every now and then and you will be able to only focus on the boss as the trap will help kill zombies now first of all put as much bullets into him as possible you simply just want to lower his health down until he goes up on the balcony or whatever and you will see three things on the ground which you can interact with in any order you would like so we have a eye phase a brain phase and the heart phase so if you start with the eye phase that uh, there will be a vision pulse that will go out every now and then automatically and you can also use it manually whenever you feel ready so when you do that look up and there will be symbols that you need to shoot and clear all of it up like simply clear all of it up the rat king will regenerate while you're trying to clear that up so you need to be really really fast make sure you're going in anti-clockwise or clockwise simply stay in one direction and you will be good to go and after that he will spawn back in make sure to kill him again and the next phase will be the hard phase or whatever you choose let's say you choose the hard phase uh, basically now you need to stand on the four different section on the green vase that you guys can see uh, right now and you need to kill at least one zombie on top of that green vase so use your shuriken or the starting pistol pack a punch it's race against the time so try to be fast and get one kill by going over four different sections uh, the brain phase is very very simple and easy to do you will just need to kill the yellow eye zombies and shoot the boss whenever you can and there will also going to be blue eye zombies and those are going to be your allies so try not to kill them uh, they will just go on the brain look at them and after you have done all the phases and everything like that the rat king will spawn in and you just gotta put bullets into him till he dies and uh, voila you have done the easter egg go ahead and watch the cutscene collect the soul key and uh, yes you have completed the main main easter egg for this new shawling shuffle uh, zombies map all in all it's an easy easter egg but it's it is a little long by the way you can also get the katana after completing the easter egg uh, which is which can be found inside the dojo so get yourself that but i'm gonna end it right here thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing uh leave a thumbs up and all that good shit uh and uh, i'll catch you guys very freaking soon